welcome back to my channel this is Egypt solar child and today I'm going to be doing another reading a pick a crystal reading I'm gonna be using the light seers tarot deck with the um, sacred creators oracle deck and then at the end I'm gonna be pulling some advice from my surrender deck all right so let's get started first we have this beautiful tiger's eye this will be group one give me a second so I can focus yes Feel free to pause the video to look at the crystals. The second group we have this beautiful fluoroid crystal. Alright, and for the third group we have this really lovely rose quartz. Alright, so let's get started. If you pick the first crystal, the tiger's eye, this is your reading. I'm gonna be answering what is next in love. What is next in love for group one spirit? What is next in love? What is next in love for group one spirit? Oh! <laughs> That's really nice. Two pages. That's a great start. So pages really talk about new... Like, they can be both. They can be messengers of sorts, depending on the element that we're talking about. Or they could be uh, new apprentices, like people who are just beginning something and starting a new journey and learning something new. So this is like a great energy to begin with in a love reading, really. It shows me that with this page of cups in reverse, that you might have been closing off on yourself, romantically speaking, for the time being. And you don't really want to let any new people in because you feel like you've had enough of this and you just want to be spending some time alone for the time being. So it really looks like because the Page of Cups talks about so an offering, a sort of offering. The Cups is usually the element related to emotions. So when we have a page that is in the realm of cups, in the element of cups, this sh this usually indicates that someone is offering you a cup of love, of emotions, of feelings, and you are kind of not accepting this, you know? So it shows that you're emotionally closed off to any new offerings that might be coming your way right now. But with this page of wands, it shows that you are a passionate being. You are passionate and creative and ins inspirational. You're inspired and you're full of life and vivacity. And you would like to use this time right now to focus on yourself more. But it might be, we're gonna see now with more cards if any fall out any second. There might be someone new coming your way who is just as creative, just as inspirational and is full of life and exciting and it feels like there is a new spark that is being offered to you. Like this is exciting, you don't know where it's going now, yet. But you know that it's exciting and you want to feel more of it. Look at this girl, she's jumping, full of life and serenity. She's really living life to the fullest. She's exploring and feeling inspired to throw her wand in the air. Yeah, she's definitely very inspired and vivacious. So I want to draw more card spirit. Please give me at least two more cards. 
All right, so we've got three cards. That's great. We've got the star card in reverse and the five of wands in reverse and then the magician. I felt like changing the camera position again because that way you're gonna have a more clear vision of what's going on with the cards. So where were we? All right, so we were at this star card in reverse. As you can see, let's summarize from the beginning. <laughs> We had you here, the Page of Cups in reverse, someone who is closed off romantically, who doesn't really want to accept any new emotional offerings. And then we have the Page of Wands, a new spark came your way, new inspiration, new motivation. Um, a sense of being drawn to another person without really having control over it. This is fire energy, this is wands energy. You're just drawn to someone like a moth to a flame. There is not really an, ex an, an explicable reason yet. It's all really very um, fiery, intuitive. But something is holding you back with the star card in reverse because the star usually symbolizes um, wishes coming true, uh, healing, regeneration. But having it re in reverse shows that right now you're having a very hard time accepting things coming your way, feeling, feeling like you're worthy enough, feeling like this can't be true. You're a bit skeptical of whatever is coming your way. Like, is this person for real? Do they really want to offer me what everything that I deserve and wish for? Am I really going to be this happy with them? Or is, is this just some whimsical fantasy that I've built up in my head with this star card energy here? It's a wish that I want so much to be a reality, but at the end of the day, it really isn't. It's just something that's floating by and it's gonna pass and it's an illusion. This is your way of thinking right now. Is it an illusion or is it more than that? Could it be something that is real? And then we have this Five of Wands in reverse. The Five of Wands usually talks about um, conflict. As you can see, people are climbing up and they're fighting over this one fire here. Wait, <laughs> here. And everybody wants to grab it. So instead of working together, they're actually working against each other and fighting, being competitive for this one flame that they're seeing in front of them. And so in reverse, it means that you're having this conflict not outside of yourself, not with other people, but within yourself. It's an inner conflict. And you've been struggling for a while. You've been struggling for a while seeing that you are a worthy person, worthy of love, worthy of connection, worthy of intimacy. You really need to overcome this fear of intimacy and relationships. You've been hurt in the past a lot, I can feel. It's not really showing the cards, but I can feel that you've been hurt a lot. You've tried one too many times to connect to someone only to have them turn out not what they seem to be. And now you're building this wall up around yourself with this page of cups here, and you're not really wanting to give anybody any other chances because you've had enough. And so you're blocking yourself internally from accepting any more love offerings. But the thing is, you're feeling inspired. There's someone that entered your life recently that is making you feel inspired, that is making you feel alive, full of hope again, full of inspiration. 
and you're craving their connection. You like that feeling when you're with them. You like spending time with them. But you don't, you're skeptical still with the star card in reverse. You're skeptical and you don't know if you should trust this feeling, if, sh if you should really trust yourself to let yourself go with them or if they're just gonna turn out not to be who they, who you think they are. The magician is showing here that it's really up to you how things will turn out at the end. You have it in your hands. You are the manipulator of your universe. You can make things happen for you or you can make things not happen for you. It's up to you and what you have in mind. It's all in your head. And I'm really talking here about the law of attraction. Because you see, when we are, when we have this mindset inside of our heads that we are building a wall and we don't want to be seeing anyone and we're going to be blocking off any new connections, this is when things come to a halt. This is when nothing really moves forward, ever. But if you let go of this feeling and you start to, to think in a more inspired and motivated kind of way, to be open towards what life has to offer you and not to be so closed off, this is when things really are going to be starting to show for you and to reveal, reveal themselves. But let's pull some more cards. What is next in love for group one spirit? What is next in love for group one? Find your sacred flow. Find your sacred flow. This is the number 12. What is next in love? For group number one spirit. What is next in love for group number one? What is next in love for group number one? The spark of hustle. <laughs> All right. So in this oracle, each card is related, is also connected to its um, mirror tarot card. And the find your secret flow is the number 12, which means it's connected to the archetype of the hanged man in the tarot. Find your secret flow. This suggests that, as I said before, you are in the standstill. This confirms this page of cups in reverse energy of of holding off of closing yourself off of not letting anybody in because of you having this inner conflict and it just tells you that this is basically advice from spirit here it tells you that in order for you to experience to experience what's next in love you need to find your sacred flow you need to let things get moving you need to find what's blocking you here and let it go surrender surrender whatever fears you have inside of you as long as you have fears nothing is gonna be changing everything is gonna be standing the same hi excuse me i had to change the battery of the camera so we're back i was saying that find your secret flow is related to the hanged man archetype which basically um, tells you to go ahead and break the standstill move forward don't be afraid of being stuck of repeating the same cycle you need to break your fear and get out of it and to start moving so the universe can help you manifest what you're craving for and so nothing is gonna be next be 
coming next in love for you as long as you have those inner fears of of blocking yourself internally and dodging whatever the universe has to offer for you here I'm not seeing any kind of negative cards there is no heartbreak there is no pain there is no struggle really except for this internal one it's all in your head it's all on the inside it's not you are creating your own reality here with this magician card you are the manifester of your universe and so you have to trust more in yourself and in your abilities in your intuition in your inner wisdom that you've collected throughout the years through experience so instead of blocking yourself from blessings coming your way or from romantic offerings think of it this way if you never step forward and experience new things in life you're gonna be you're not gonna be growing you're gonna be standing at exactly the same place years from now and this is not good because you know we are living beings we are living to grow if we're not growing we're dead we're dead we cease to exist or let's put it this way we might still be existing but we're not alive anymore we've got we're gonna have lost our inner drive all right and then we have the spark of hustle and the spark of hustle is related to the card to the number um, 17 in the tarot which is the star card which we have here but this time it's in the upright position and so it shows me that you need to start believing that your wishes can become a reality you need to start believing that you can manifest what you, whatever you want for yourself if there's a person that you feel comfortable with um, if there's a person that brings out the side of you that is not afraid, that feels alive that is motivated and wants to be creating constantly and is just so full of life and has an inner spark then then may, perhaps this is your person perhaps you should give this person a chance and even if this person doesn't turn out to be the person that you had in mind like even if this person doesn't turn out to be your end game it doesn't matter because we're here to experience we're here to live and to grow and without experiences, without leaving our comfort zones, with our, with, without sheltering ourselves, we're not really living. So you need to stop sheltering yourself. At last, I'm going to be drawing some surrender cards for you. To see what you need to surrender to in order to manifest this love of yours what do you need what does group one need to surrender to in order to manifest their love we've got two cards that fell out I'm gonna be taking both of them <laughs> that's amazing so this card turned out in reverse surrender to non-action I usually don't read any reversals when it comes to oracle decks but this one really caught my attention because I was just talking about this wasn't I I was just talking about non-action and how too much of it can be very toxic yeah from time to time we need to surrender to non-action and not do anything and let things unfold naturally that's true but in your case group one you have been surrendering too much to non-action that it turned out to be a blockage instead 
and that's why you need to get out of this non-action state and surrender to the flow of life instead. <laughs> this is how I'm reading this. That's very interesting. And then <laughs> the next message that I have been telling you, surrender to, su to receiving support and love. That's all. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You have it here. This is proof. Surrender to receiving support and love. Don't push it away. If, if there's an offering here, if there's an offering of any kind of way, emotionally speaking, surrender to it. Receive it. Allow yourself to, re to receive this support and emotional contentment. You deserve this. I'm going to read it out for you, what stands here under the card. Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So there you have it. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in today. I hope this reading resonated for you. If it did, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me exactly what you would like to see next. And until next time, bye! Hello and welcome. If you chose this fluoride crystal, let me focus on it, then this is your reading. Let's put this here. So what is next in love for group? Okay, I'm not gonna take this because I haven't even finished the question yet. What is next in love for group two spirit? What is next in love for group two? What is next in love for group two spirit? This is the Light Seer Starou, by the way. I got it in a Kickstarter as well. I love supporting indie artists who create tarot decks. They're just very talented people who deserve to be supported. Alright, your first card is the Ten of Wands. I'm gonna be pulling out all the cards first and then I'm gonna be talking about the message that I'm getting here. But right off the surface, seeing this Ten of Wands, I feel like you guys have been going through a lot. Like you've went through a lot when it comes to love you've burnt yourself out basically look at this girl traveling with her hundreds of bags and her tiny companion oh something came out the knight of cups in reverse all right okay these are too many cards i guess yeah too many i just need three more or two more Spirit. Two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> Not taking those as well. Alright, so the magician in reverse. Interesting. The other group also got the magician. But it was upright. Alright, two more card spirits, and then I'm gonna be telling you what I'm seeing here. The Fool in Reverse. Hmm. The Sun in Reverse. What is going on with you guys? Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, this Ten of Wands, this is talking about someone as you can see here, there is a girl that is carrying lots of bags, symbolizing many, many burdens. And a very long way she had to travel to get to where, to where she is. And finally deciding to move on, to move forward, to leave, to leave whatever situation behind and start somewhere else and new. She's still carrying her baggage though. She hasn't let go of it entirely she's still holding on to this emotional baggage of hers 
and this is dragging her down this is not allowing her to move forward to experience life life with new eyes and with a pure heart no she's been dragged down in the mud a lot she's she's experienced a lot of i don't want to say abuse it might be but perhaps a little bit of a lot of toxic situations and this toxicity has woven itself into her being and into her heart it broke it multiple times and she got up and she didn't surrender and she molded it back into functioning properly one too many times and at the tenth time because this is the ten of wands at the tenth time she said I've had enough I don't want to go through this anymore I don't want to be repeating the same cycle over and over and over again when it comes to love and so she's closed her heart she's packed her bags she went away and she doesn't want to turn back anymore she doesn't want to open her heart anymore to whatever lies ahead she only has eyes for her job, her work, her friends, her social life, but not really the part where she gets to be romantic again with someone. This is really heavy energy that I'm feeling right now. It's exhaustion. And so when this Knight of Cups in reverse came along and he was like, Hey girl, what's up? No, I'm kidding. He was like, I want to offer you something. I have something to offer to, offer to you. I want to treat you right. I want to give you all that you deserve. I want to woo you. I want to spread flowers on the floor that you walk on. Like, I just want to carry you and show you how much you mean to me. When this guy came along, and by the way, I'm using guy and girl, but these genders could be reversed. Uh, it's just that I see a guy here on the <laughs> on the image, and here's a girl on the other image. But there is the situation and genders and sexuality is fluid, and it could be just anyone here of any gender or any sexual orientation. All right, so this person here, they wanted to offer her, her um, a new romantic start. But as this other person here has closed, and closed her themselves off and they're not really allowing anything new, so they dodged, they blocked their energy. This girl blocked this guy's energy from entering her life. So it could have been that someone entered your life and they tried to start something with you. To, they were flirtatious, they were charming, they were dreamy, they were romantic and they wanted to just woo you off your feet. But you do, didn't let Prince Charming do that because you were fearing of what could be once you allow them to enter your life and to become someone important and close to you emotionally and so this way by dodging him you are really working against the universe because you see the magician is all about manifesting and working with the law of attraction to manifest exactly what you want in life. So when the magician is in reverse, it means that you're either manipulating things in a cunning way, in a secretive way, to, to nurture your own interests and you don't care about if you harm others in the process or not, or it could be that you are unconsciously self-sabotaging yourself by blocking everything around you, every energy that is trying to make you an offering and you are not really aware of it even. 
you are not even aware of this blocking that you're doing to yourself and then you're like oh I really want someone to enter my life and woo me off my feet and I want to be in a relationship so badly I would love for someone to love me and to be loved and to give love and to nurture and to be happy this is consciously but unconsciously you're not really ready for anybody because you're pushing everybody away that is attempting to start anything with you and after this magician we've got this fool card in reverse the fool card is all about having faith taking a leap and jumping off this cliff like this <laughs> sun sunflower dress girl and just letting yourself fall and experience something new a new start a new beginning in reverse it means that you are skeptical you are doubtful you don't have faith anymore you don't want things to move forward because you're very scared you don't want to let yourself fall in love you don't want to fall you're afraid of breaking again because as I said with this ten of wands you've been through it all with a lot of people with a lot of people and everybody has a different count in their head what a lot would mean so I'm not gonna give you any numbers what a lot means but you've been through a lot of relationships to understand that you really don't want to be trying anything anymore you want some time to yourself maybe which is all good and 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 amazing if you're actually aware that you're blocking yourself and that you're choosing to stay without someone right now As long as you're aware, everything is good. But don't be asking for something consciously that you want to be in a relationship and then block it unconsciously through your actions of not wanting to receive anything and being too afraid. Being too afraid of commitment and intimacy and love in general. And then we've got the Sun card. This is the biggest indicator here. Um, having it in reverse is the biggest indicator here that you are blocking your own happiness you could be experiencing so much happiness and contentment and just being happy but you're blocking all of this right now and I just want to be drawing let's move on and draw some extra cards from this oracle deck here Spirit, what advice? Or, no, let's ask it in a different way. What is next in love? What is next in love for group two? Alright, so we have limitations inspire innovations and fall in love with your own story. Wow, alright. This card has shown me that you have blocked yourself off. You have set limits when it comes to romantic connections. But the thing is, Spirit is telling you here that these limitations are self-set. You set them yourself. So you can also get rid of them yourself. And with this next card, fall in love with your own story. It shows you that in order to be happy, you don't really have to be in a relationship right now to be emotionally fulfilled. You could get this emotional fulfillment from your friends, from your family, from generally all your loved ones, from platonic relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic for you to be fulfilled. And fall in love with your own story. It just shows that don't be looking at everybody else and saying to yourself, why am I the only one who hasn't gotten into a relationship yet? Why am I the only one who is all alone? Don't say that to yourself. 
because this mindset is really harmful. You are supposed to be focusing on yourself and not comparing yourself to other people. And therefore, do just that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Focus on yourself. And when somebody tries to enter your life with this Knight of Cups here in reverse, try to not block him off. This will not do you any good. Blocking people off is not really the way to go. We are here, as I said to group one, to experience new things, to grow. Without experience, we're not growing. Without growth, we're dead. We're not any different than any non-living being. If we want to live, we have to be experiencing new things, even if they hurt us sometimes. All right, let me draw some surrender cards for you at last. Let me zoom out first. What are some things group two needs to surrender to spirit? What are some things group two needs to surrender to spirit? What are some things group two needs to surrender to spirit? Da, da, da. Oh, this is so pretty. All right, so the first one we've got surrender stubbornness. <laughs> I can't, like, this is all, this is all I have to say. Surrender to stubbornness. Stubbornness is getting in the way of living your life. You are f way too fixated on the fact that you are alone and there is nobody around you to fulfill you. And this needs to go, this the stubborn way of life needs to end. You need to widen your perspective. Let things unfold naturally, not stay fixated on a certain narrative, not let yourself get carried away in how you view reality and just fixate on that and never allow anything else to unfold for you and doubt and be skeptical about ever anything that is remotely different or unfamiliar because this signifies change and you're afraid of change because you've been hurt so much by it lately but the thing is when we get hurt we grow and we live and we experience and so please don't let yourself stay stuck in the same cycle of fear and doubt and stubbornness the message under this card is, if you're testing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. The other card is surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So exactly this uh, message about surrendering to the inner flow of life. Can you see this figure here, this little girl? She's jumping with her whole body arced into the sky. And she's just surrendering to the divine. She's surrendering to how things, to, to, to the sky and to the universe and completely trusting that they are going to catch her if she happens to fall. And so this is also you. This is your message, this is your advice from spirit. Let yourself fall, don't hold yourself off like this full card in reverse, but really, really allow yourself to feel peace and surrender. Don't let yourself be held back of fear. So thank you so much guys, this was your reading, if, it, if you liked it or if it resonated, please comment down below, let me know what you would like to see next and until next time, bye! Hello and welcome. If you chose group 3, this um, rose quartz crystal, this is your reading. Let's put this one here so you can see it. Now let's ask spirit, what is next in love for group 3? What is next in love for group 3, spirit? What is next in love? These are way too many cards in the card with all of this. 
what is next in the four group three? I can take this one. Oh, I love this. I love this star, the King of Cups. Long time no see. <laughs> I really love the King of Cups. They're like my ideal person. <laughs> Um, the four of pentacles in reverse I love this energy whoever you are group three I like where this is headed one or two more cards please spirit ooh ten of swords in reverse I really love this this energy is really good. Like, out of all three groups, you are the group who seems to be really knowing what they want. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, wait. Those cards were reversed here. Okay, one last card from the tarot deck, please. Thank you. So I actually see two people here and not one person for you in love. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this is awesome. The King of Cups. The King of Cups usually, give me a second, the card fell down. The King of Cups usually talks about someone who is really emotionally mature. They have grown, th grown through, uh, gone through a lot emotionally and they have been resilient they've matured and now they are entirely and completely connected to their emotions in a healthy way without it getting too overwhelming for them so they're not they're not emotionally unstable like for example the page or or the knight they are completely attuned with their emotions but they are also they haven't lost the part of them that is rational like there is a complete balance in emotions and the mind and you can see really see that here on the card with this with this man that is sitting in the water and only his fingertips are touching the water connecting to the intuition whereas his mind is crowned in the sky he is connected to the mind and to the heart which is a really lovely drawing. And he's closing his eyes to be attuned with his intuition, which is really lovely. So, please don't start. <laughs> I hope you're not hearing this, but I can really do nothing about it if it starts. All right, so this shows me that there's this really emotionally mature person that wants to enter your life or is already in your life and they have they are unlike anyone that you've met before they are unlike anybody that you've experienced before they listen to you they hear you out they can offer emotional guidance and support they are not letting their masculinity and i'm saying masculinity because this is the king so this is masculine energy, divine masculine energy, despite of gender. So this could also be a woman that, but that usually that led or had, um, yeah, that usually led with her divine masculine energy because we all have this divine masculine and divine feminine energy inside of ourselves. And so this person who is action oriented usually and would think in logical and rational ways has gone through the through the journey of evolving and of transforming into this mature young man or woman who is now fully attuned with how she's feeling with this page of wands under the king of cups that is in reverse it shows that there was a start of some sorts it shows me that you connected to this individual you were drawn to them, you were inspired by them. You wanted, you were drawn to them like a moth to a flame because this is one's fire energy. And so 
the thing with pages and with wands is that you get drawn and then all of a sudden the flame burns out and the spark disappears and what remains is the emotional, emotional co connectedness that you had or that you've built like you were drawn through the spark and then you're gonna be staying or remaining with this person for their emotional maturity you're gonna stay with them because, because they can offer you a lot of wisdom and guidance emotionally speaking they might be your elder in a way or another like there might be a, an age difference it, it doesn't have to be age but they're they could just be more em emotionally mature than you and they have a lot to offer to you so this person is gonna enter your life at a point where you feel that you are done with holding off from people you are done with this four of pentacles here you are done with holding this bag so very close to your heart and not letting anybody see inside of it you are done with being so clingy and possessive of your own feelings and your own inner world you are ready to finally share with this person who is entering your life your emotions and your feelings because this four of pentacles usually talks about holding on in the verse it talks about letting go so you're finally surrendering you're finally surrendering and allowing things to unfold the way they, sh they sh always should have been and this came right after the Ten of Swords because it's been a long journey. This shows me that you were a person that has went through ten stages of pain. You have gone through a lot and you've gathered a lot of scars along the way. Your heart broke a different million times in a different million pieces and you've mended it back together and now you're standing again and now you're letting go and you're finally healing you're moving forward this shows me that your pain is in reverse it, I mean it shows that your pain is not fresh anymore that yes it left a scar now but the scar is almost gone and now you're wearing it proudly and you've learned from all the pain that you had to go through in order to find this one person that finally gets you and respects your boundaries and really appreciates you as a person and validates and cherishes you. So with this two final cards here, because this one came out behind the Emperor, the Emperor is a bit different than the King of Cups. The Emperor is someone who is very strategic and fiery. I would relate the Emperor to this Page of Wands. It's a person that, as you can see, this person is holding a checkmate game. What's the checkmate game called? Oh my god, I've forgotten its name. Let me check real quickly. Oh my god, it's called chess. How could I ever forget? So this, this man is holding a chess piece um, that, and their mind is kind of in the air. You can see here it's related to the Aries archetype, the Emperor card and the Tarot. And so it, it really shows that this person is rational and strategic and doesn't just start something without knowing where, exactly, where, where it's exactly leading him towards. And so when this person enters your life and you can see this as an, as an entirely different person or as one and the same, but I'm going to read it for you in both ways. If this is a different person, then this person is going to be entering your life and pursuing you knowing exactly what they want. They have thought about you a lot, like where they would position you in their lives. And I could see that with the two of swords here, someone who is torn between two decisions, two different ways. And this card was directly under the emperor. So that shows me that the emperor thought about you a lot and thought about what you, where you would fit in their life and what they really want from you before deciding that, yes, this is the way I want to move forward about this person. This is the way I want to connect to group three. And so if if the emperor is one and the same person as, as the king of cups in the beginning of the reading 
then this shows me a sort of evolution here. This tells me a bit of a story that this person that is entering your life has also gone through a lot emotionally in order to wear this emotional like watery crown here on their head now. They have they have mastered their emotions and now they are looking for uh, for their counterpart emotionally that could balance them and that they could feel content with in their lives and they're gonna enter your life at exactly the moment where you decide that you're gonna be surrendering and letting go and not holding yourself off anymore you're just gonna let things unfold you're gonna have fully healed from whatever pain that you have been through in the past and you're gonna have just about decided that you're gonna be doing this um, creative endeavor that you've always wanted to do. This card is in reverse, but I'm not reading it as blockage as much as I'm reading it as someone who is still a bit hesitant about finding their voice, their self-expression, but they're on their way. And I feel like this King of Cups is here to help you to find your way to creativity and to support you and to nurture you because this is water energy this is cups energy support and nurture emotionally so this person can grow so they're gonna be taking you under their wing and they're gonna show you a world that you're gonna flourish in a lot you're gonna find your voice there you're gonna find your creative expression there and you're gonna be happy with them you're gonna learn how to really be emotionally in balance through them because up to this point you have been emotionally unstable you have been either this one extreme where your head over heels in love with someone without really knowing them first properly or you have been extremely cut off or shut off from the world and not wanting to be in touch with anyone anymore and now this person is entering your life to show you that there is a different way of living. That you are here right now to learn how to be emotionally balanced. How to be content and at peace and serene with them. And so when they're going to see your talent, your, the way that you're, you have so much creative potential, they're going to they're gonna encourage you with this Emperor card here. They're going to be like, hey, listen. I can see that you have a lot of crea creative potential and talent and skill and I want you to use this to your advantage with this chess piece again here. This is a very strategic, advantageous person. They want you to think in advantageous ways for you. They want to guide you and lead you as, as they are your emperor now and they want you to be to reach your fullest potential because they can see how much potential you have. So this person is gonna come into your life and guide you through it all. They're gonna take your hand, take you under their wings, and they're gonna show you a world that you haven't seen before. You're, you're gonna stop doubting yourself. You're gonna stop doubting your own skills anymore. You're gonna gain confidence in your own abilities. And I would really just like to draw some oracle cards now, because this has gone far too long now give me two more oracle cards please what is next in love for this for group three spirit what is next in love for group three light in the unexpected yes I love this another card please Sacred mirrors. Wow, I love it. I love this message so much. All right, so light in the unexpected. The light in the unexpected card really shows you it's. Um, this is the um, mirror card in the tarot for the tower card, and so this one shows you that there's always light in what seems to be darkness, in what seems to be upheaval, in what seems to be pain and change and revolution so the card really shows you that you you need to see that wherever there's darkness wherever there's the unknown there's or there is also 
positivity and light and you got to let this light in so yeah this is a, such a fitting message here with this ten of swords in reverse and this four of pentacles in reverse where i have told you guys that uh, where i have told you group, th group three that you're finally learning how to let go and how to move forward and finally you are done with your healing for the most part and you're coming out of this darkness period and finally seeing the light um, with this person here that is gonna be your emotional uh, balanced counterpart and that is gonna be motivating you to be more strategic about your creative endeavors and with the sacred mirrors this is confirming yet again that this person is gonna be your emotional counterpart your emotional balance they are gonna mirror you and you are gonna mirror them so you're gonna be recognizing them when you see someone that is your exact version but either male or female <laughs> depending on which gender or um yeah depending on which gender you're attracted to all right so finally let us draw the surrender cards what does group three need to surrender to spirit what does group three need to surrender to whoops surrender stubbornness we got the same part for the last group as well surrender the habit of people pleasing all right so this is yet again telling you with the stubbornness card i can see though that you've surrendered your stubbornness because we have this four of pentacles in reverse this is just confirmation that you are on the right journey that you've finally done it and spirit is congratulating you that you have finally um, been able to surrender your stubbornness and to let new people in you're finally letting new great things enter your life and you're not pushing away the things that you deserve and then we have the surrender the habit of people pleasing this is showing me that perhaps in the past you didn't have so great such great boundaries and now you've managed to go through through this very long journey of a lot of pain and anguish and you finally healed from all of this pain by finally recognizing that when you are not when you are neglecting your boundaries when you are neglecting uh, the way that you're feeling and only focusing on the way that other people are feeling you are self betraying yourself so you're betraying yourself by doing that by only focusing on other people's feelings but ne completely neglecting your own and so you've learned your lesson and this is again confirmation that you have realized this now this is con you're consci consciously aware of this and you're finally applying it to daily life so when this king of cups is entering your life and respecting no let's put it in a different way this king of cups only was able to e to enter your life because you attracted this energy of like-mindedness of equal partnership and yeah so basically you could only attract them when you were actually ready for them and not beforehand so i hope this reading resonated for you guys uh if so please comment like and subscribe and until the next reading bye